Hello, everybody, and welcome back to African Power. My name's Zane. Nice to see you. I don't see you, but you know what I mean. Last episode, uh, we did some stuff that I can't really remember, but I know that we were thinking about maybe declaring war on the Portuguese or the rest of West Africa, although we don't really have... Oh, if we let the month tick over. The governing capacity to do that. So, we will get governing capacity on the next admin tech level. So, maybe we just wait. Maybe we just make money and we wait. Points. Yeah, no, that's probably what we're going to do for a bit. Keep working on our colonies. Lost a trader. How much was, how much were we paying for him? Not too much. Who are we paying so much money for? Ooh. You two, we are paying mucho money for you two. Yeah, we'll get a we we'll get a cheap trade guy. That guy should more than pay for himself. Thirty four trade to thirty four trade. Oh wait, I think we traded a trader for a trader. Okay, well whatever. He's he's paying more for more than enough for himself. Ooh, who's this guy? Oh, King Alvaro, the na naive enthusiast, is a scholar. Gonna make our tech even cheaper. That's nice. Timbuktuans. Oh, let's go deal with them. We're just dealing with true uh dealing with rebels everywhere, huh? Let's do some Let's do some drilling up here. I like that. We gotta watch Ooh. At war with England, you say? I wish Denmark wasn't so uh, screwed over right now. Are you at war with England? Second Portuguese-English colonial war. The English would probably help me. Uh, wait, what the heck? Whoa, when did Portugal take Norfolk and Somerset? <laughs> Okay. Well, maybe Engl I well, actually don't know how good England's uh, doing right now. <laughs> They've only got eight boats. <gasps> oh, no. England. Trade efficiency or money? I think that trade efficiency is going to be more money, hopefully. That's a hope. I'm not sure. I could have done the math on that. Tax modifier. I don't really care about tax modifier. We mostly care about like goods produced. This goods produced is going to increase the amount of money actually being made in this trade or, uh, node. Although, man, we don't really have that much of a hold on the trade node. Oh, unassigned merchant. We're going to have this problem for a long time. This unassigned merchant problem. As long as Timbuktu is like barely in our control. What we could do, we could change Songhai to... They are diverting trade. Well, I don't hmm, I don't know what we could do then. Pay off their debt. Embargo rivals, that could help. Ooh, an excellent minister. I'll take that. That's a great event. Excellent. Spend our admin points on ideas, but no, we do not. We are not going to do that. Oh wait, wait a second. Now should be now is the time for us to declare on England. That's what we should be doing. Let's see. Let's make a claim on Transvaal. Oh, we should totally declare war on England. We can just like, I think totally for free, take their land. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like this. Where's our Navy? Let's bring the Navy over. And these three barks. Okay. Okay, this is a daring plan. But this is what we got to do. If we want to take land from the Europeans, we're going to have to be sneaky about it. We just need to claim. Oh, 75 Diplo. We'll take it. Just need the claim. Once we get... Once we get that tech, we're going to have enough governing capacity to not get these uh, negatives, which would be nice. 
Yeah, it should be this should be nice. It's not the biggest thing. The advisor costs. That matters. We're spending a lot of money on advisors. Okay. We can now build universities. We can also get Sunday schools, which is just a free 1% missionary strength. Very nice. Also, we do need to We gotta core the We gotta core this at some point. The fact that this isn't cored is really bad. We've been missing out on a lot of money here. Integrated Zazao. <laughs> it's going to be so long. So long before I can integrate you, man. Let's go down here. Let's get our armies ready to fight the English. We can intervene on behalf. On behalf of Portugal. Funny. Uh, no. No. We're not going to, though, because uh, I want to, um, I want to take land. I don't want to be a, uh, like a co-belligerent or anything. Ooh, Denmark will join. We've got to get that claim. We're, we're totally doing this, by the way. Probably going to have to leave our ships together, uh, just so they don't get, like, obliterated by any navy that comes down. And we should probably upgrade our ships for this war. Let's do it. 626 ducats. All of our money to upgrade our ships, but I think it's going to be worth it. Having them up to date is very important. Although, like I said, England doesn't really have a navy. They are rebuilding, though. And Russia? Well, Russia is not going to come down here, but, you know. Could have been. Magnate rebels. Particularists. Poles aren't happy. Poles are not happy. Hope I can colonize Swaziland before they get to it. Was Spain colonizing this and then gave up on it? Is that what happened? I don't know if I should bring the troops over here to here. I don't think I need them. I really don't. So the, the British are barely going to be able to bring any at a time. And we're on tech. We are on tech with them. Although they have better ideas. They only have one, one quantity idea. So we have m morale. Of army, so that's better. And let's get some land leader maneuver. Why don't we? Whoa, we're making a lot of money. Dang, we're just wow, well, we're just making a ton of money. Okay, okay. Get our claim on Cape Coast. Claire. So they're going to have Russia, but we're going to have Denmark and Denmark is going to get obliterated by Russia for us, but it's just going to, it's going to give Russia something to do. Is that the play? It's just going to like Denmark. I don't know if I want to kill Denmark for that. I, I think if we just sit on here, I think we'll be fine. And maybe we send ships up here. We send our fleet up this way and then uh, try to harass their shores. I don't know. I think calling in Denmark is just killing them for no reason. We can call them in if we think we need it. We're doing it. We are doing it. We're declaring war on our first colonial power, England. Send our navy out. We need a military leader or a naval leader. Also known as an admiral, by the way. To some. Although, we can't go very far. <laughs> I'm realizing. Okay, well. We are going to set our ships to intercept enemy fleets in the West African Sea. So, this area. And if any Russian or English ships come this way, which is the way they're going to have to come to uh, attack us... Uh, hopefully our navy that is stronger than either of their navies singularly uh, can beat it. We're going to hope. We're going to really hope because England has a really strong navy and they have a better um, naval tech than us. We're going to hope against hope. We're also, with our new uh, governing capacity, we're going to start 
coring these places. It just makes sense to get these places cored. Not play on livestock. Get these places cored. Start making a bunch more money. Yeah, look at that. Four more ducats a month just from that. Because these places, we've held onto them for so long that they're going to have uh, extremely low, zero autonomy. Yeah, we should have should have gotten these a long time ago. Oh, these places would be really good to have too. Oh wait, we already core Mombasa. What's this 50 dev it was saying? Mogadishu, Bakalava, Central Swahili, Mozambique. Oh yeah, it's saying like up here. Like this is Mogadishu. I mean that is a good state to have. Like don't get me wrong. Let's do these first though. Missing 62. Admin. And screw the ability. Screw them. Okay, keep our missionaries going. Sort of forgot we are, uh, you know, still infinitely converting everything. Got so much to convert, it's not even funny. And we are just sitting on. Oh, English Brazil. English Brazil. Huh. Now that's interesting because let's see what are, 10k rebels. Okay, let's walk this half this half of this army over here, and I want to get people on boats because I want to go attack English Brazil. English Brazil has no troops, so I can just siege them for free basically if I bring troops over. Just hop off. Hop off. And then we're going to go right. Take these ships, go right back. And like I said, English Brazil has no troops, and we're just going to siege them down. This is ah, this is interesting. We could do something here, which is um, get enough war score to take English Brazil. If we got English Brazil, we could start pushing Brazilian trade into... Uh, the Ivory Coast, which would be awesome. And we'd have a colony, which would be awesome. <laughs> Two good things. It would put us at odds with the Spanish pretty abrasively, but, you know, we got to fight them at some point. <clears throat> Faithful in enemy lands. Many soldiers say our ongoing war is a conflict of faiths. This has led to some debate around one of our ongoing sieges. Oh, the population is Catholic. Uh, well, bear the faithful, I guess. It's a, a province that it does not matter on at all because it doesn't have a fort. So yeah, it's already over. I guess we'll spare the faithful? Because, uh, why not? Ooh, an English Navy. We got to chase that down, I think. Where did our Congolese Navy go? Where did the English... What do they have? I can't. They're, they're so fast. Okay. We'll come back to the Green Coast. Uh, dude, this is so annoying. The, the freaking merchant. Oh, wait a second. Do I not have everything here? Trade company? Whoops. Okay. So yeah, this is getting us war score. Uh, mostly because we're holding on to Cape Coast. That ticking war score is how we're going to piece out of this war. But, so let's see. Like, we want 13, 13 war score to get our uh, their African holdings. But then, can I ask for what I want here? No, I guess I can't ask for the um, concession of Brazil. I would love... If we could do a concession of Brazil, well, what we could do is we could just start taking provinces. It's going to cost a lot of war score. And, like, actually a hell of a lot of progressive expansion, but... Actually, it's not that much. Like, that's what I want. And I guess 
if I could get that too. 186 aggressive expansion. Wait, with who? <laughs> I guess with no one important. Maybe it's like with Spanish Brazil or something. If I could get, if I could get English Brazil, like that would be awesome. Coffee imports. Minus one national rest, 10% 10, 10 fort defense or one mercantilism. Yeah, national unrest and fort defense. I like that. Rio de Janeiro is ours. Four here, five here, you here, you here. Let's keep the siege going. Keep the siege going. And then get the ships back to patrolling. Hunting enemy fleets in the West African Sea. It's like Portugal's war with England is over. <laughs> England did not get their land back. That is so, so funny. Still call in Denmark. There's no reason to. There's no reason to. Go up here. Hopefully we don't run into natives. Colony self-sustaining. We're going to send them here now. Move you guys up here. I'm not being too efficient on the carpet sieging going on here. I should be doing better. Guess we'll take this colony as well. Colony. Although the sieging of of English Brazil is not doing much war score wise. England is very, very, very far away from conceding this war, which is, I mean, understandable. Okay, let's bring us together. Bring us back here. You can finish sieging down. Golden era for culture. Cool. We're making a lot of money right now, which is really good. We don't have... Good, we don't have war taxes on. Good, because we want to build up... Uh, money for that. Also, are we making absolutism? No, we're not. Multicultural nature and three trade companies. Okay. We want to build universities at some point, and it may just be better to build them now. Nah, I don't know. We're already near the amount of splendor I want. Oh, no! Wh Where did they come from? They walked. You are kidding me. Russia has military access through the Ottomans. And the meme looks. Wait, how did they get here? How did they get here? The Ottomans and the meme looks. N not Yemen. I don't see Yemen on this list. Well, this is bad. How in the how in the world did they get here? Oh my god. Okay, well we need to bring our armies back. I mean, ASAP. Need to muster troops, too. Jesus, this is these are way too many units. All my mercenary companies are way too big. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I really could not tell you how they got here. I mean... England. I guess England. Why? Why? England has conditional melee access because Yemen gives access to English war ally Russia. War ally? Oh, Congolese enemy. Because Yemen hates me. I guess? That's weird. They literally walked. They walked through the Ottoman Empire. That is so annoying. Okay. That is super, super annoying. Let's bring our navy over. <sighs> I 
think we're just gonna hire like a huge company and like start tanking money. Yaka Free Warriors. Free company. These guys are pretty cheap for some reason. Great Lakes Free Warriors have a better uh, general though. Independent Army has artillery, but only a few. It's going to be like all... We're going to start really tanking money if I do this. But I think I need him. I think I need them. We got to fight like one huge battle. Let's run. We got to run. It is going to take so, so dang long for us to get here. Simple and army, huh? Guess we can take that mission. Something. Colonial Ventures. Sure. The armies together. Waiting for this army. They really caught them? Oh, guys. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. This is so bad. Maybe let's not take Brazil. Can we just take what we want? No. Not there yet. Brazil Tome, bring y'all down here. Bring this army down. We got to meet up. I, I think I can win. I think I can beat these armies. I just have to get my armies together. And that's the, that's the hardest part right now. Is We're just so, so spread out. Take a legitimacy hit, I guess. And this Russian army just is looking for blood. A six, six, five general on that army, man. You're kidding me. And would you guess it? Songhai has rebels. I've never seen that before. Uh, yeah, that's fine, I guess. I don't care about their rebels. We gotta, we gotta deal with our own problems. Hmm. Okay, our armies have landed. We're walking these armies. Put a general on here. Who is falling fast? God, they're really seizing us down quick. Sure, 20 ducats, I guess. Could turn on war reps to try to stop hemorrhaging money. I think we will. War taxes, I mean, not war reps. Yeah, that's 10 ducats. Oh, man. It's just, it's taken us so long. Okay, this Russian army is going... Okay, this is their god general, but he is by himself. He is by himself. Let's see if we can actually pull back. See, it looks like he's coming for us. No, he's going to Shangwei. Okay, okay, okay. The Russians going to the, the lakes region. Get this navy back to patrolling, hunting for enemy ships. West African Sea. Why did they leave Elbur? Elbur. Linje, huh? They're going into the uh, uncolonized territory. I think they're going for like our capital. Okay. We're trying to catch. We're trying to catch them right here. Fight natives every single step of the way. Why is he so slow? Try to get him together. Bunch of a bunch of units all coming together to kill him. Sort of attacked at bad times, but okay, we did beat him. Did beat him. We'll send these two armies to kill them. Oh, that's God, that's 50k units. Jesus, Russia. 
I should call Denmark in if I had. I can't call them in. It's been more than 30 months ago. Oh, I so should have called Denmark in, man. I so... Oh, Russia? Actually, Russia is getting close to not wanting to be in this war already. That's sort of huge. Keep our armies together. I feel like I'm playing it too fast of a speed. We may need to lower the speed a bit. So got our units really attritioning. Come up this way. It's <sighs> annoying. I don't want to lose stability though. Do want to like levy a church tax and turn on a holy war. Or fighting the dirty Anglicans. Oh, they took Rio? It's annoying. Also, wait a second. <laughs> Where do these English troops come from? <laughs> I want that island, actually. Uh, I forgot about that island, Saltome. I need to make sure I get that. Don't let me forget, viewers. Loyal viewers. Let's go to Weo. Let's go to Lomwe, actually. Catching people in Ngonde. Catching them in Makua. Nice. Big catch, big catch. 85% on that siege. I guess we'll just finish that siege in one month tick. There are so many Russians and they are so close to wanting to be out of the war. Wait a second. Maybe a month ticks by and they leave? Why are they mad? Because of military strength, because of war exhaustion, because of revolts in Russia. Yes. Yes. Thank God for Bashkirian separatists. Yes, let's educate the poor. Russia? Yes. Yes! Okay, we've done it, ladies and gents. That's, I mean, that's the war, right? So now that the Russians are out, we're going to send an army back. I want to get back to Brazil. God, Brazil is falling apart. We got to un-siege everything. Oh, I can't split them up because they're a... Mercenary company. Annoying. Speed the game back up. Gene fabricate claims while we still have the uh, spy network. Go back to what we want to take from England. Do they have any islands down here? No, they don't. Okay. All this. Give me all this. That's what you get. This is what England gets for uh, calling in Russia like that. Sneaking in the back door. It was very dishonorable of them. We just de-siege all this down. All of it down. I love Shamba. Send this army this way. Our navy's beating up Brits. That feels very good. Let's split all of these guys up. Ooh. Oh, I was hoping they'd die. Very tedious. Man, is this always tedious. Uh, it's quite the music we're listening to, by the way. Where, where are the English going? They're not going to ghetto. Sorry, Angoland. Land. 
come pick these guys up. Also, we can get our first Age of Absolutism uh, buff. It's going to be Absolute Government. Gives us yearly Absolutism, which is uh, something we haven't been gaining so far. So now we're going to get this once every year. It's not very fast, but it's something. This is annoying. They have nine transports. I know they're going to... They're going to do it. Can't detach them, really? Yeah, I guess we can. Well, let's go. Let's go to Brazil. No, I don't want to go to Brazil. <sighs> okay, well, I think that's going to be the end of, the, of this episode. We did it, ladies and gents. We defeated Russia. Oh, I don't know what just happened to the Ming. Something happened to them. Uh, and we are going to turn our... Oh no, where are you going? I don't know where they're going. We're going to turn our attention on England and hopefully take English Brazil as well as the African uh, English land that is rightfully ours. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you join us next time. We have a new episode coming out every other day. Like, comment, subscribe. Yada, yada, yada. Have a good one. Bye.